Want to know how to make this slideshow in Filmora? Keep watching! Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Intros are the most important part of any video to create a hook. And today, we'll show you how to make it in Filmora. Let's jump into Filmora. First, drop your first footage onto the timeline and make it 20 frames long. Then, head to the stock media and add a white solid color on track 2, ensuring it's also 20 frames long. Change the white position to 540. Next, add another white solid color on track 3 and make it 20 frames long. Shift the Y position to minus 540. Set keyframes for both solid colors at the first frame and at the 14th frame. Change the position to create that awesome bar opening effect. Looking cool, right? Place a new clip on track 2 at 20th frame and keep it until the 2 second and 13 frame mark. Then, add a white solid color and keep it for only 13 frames. Next, go to the titles and add the default title, making it last for 13 frames only. Change the font color to green, switch the font to a bold style, enter your word, and adjust the font scale. Afterward, select the title and solid color and create a compound clip. Initially, change the scale to 3000 on the keyframe and position Y to 2627 on the keyframe. After 5 frames, change Y to 0. And then after another 5 frames, change the scale to 100. Copy the title from the compound clip, paste it onto track 3 of the main timeline, and make it as long as the footage on track 2. Change the font color to white. Select the compound clip, go to the AI tools, and use the chroma key to remove the green color and make some adjustments. Place the playhead at 2 seconds and the third frame. Then add a position keyframe. After a frame, Change the X position to minus 712. After three frames, add a blank keyframe. Then, after a frame, change the X position to negative 1212. After three frames, add another blank keyframe. After a frame, change X to negative 1995. At two seconds and the third frame, place the playhead. Then, drag the new footage to track one and keep it there until three seconds and the seventh frame. After that, at 2 seconds and the 18th frame, drop another clip on track 4, and keep it there until 3 seconds and the 23rd frame. Next, copy the title from track 3, and place it on track 5. Change the word to PRESENTS. Go to the video tab, and give it a slight right to left motion. Then select the title, and clip, and create a compound clip. Go to the mask, and choose the parallel line mask. Change the mask X position to negative 425 and the width to zero. At the start, set the width and position keyframe. After 13 frames, change the width to 100 and the X position to zero. Split the clip and turn off the mask. Remember to drop the next clip at three seconds and the 11th frame and keep it until four seconds and the seventh frame. Then copy the title from track three and change the word to brand new and change brand font to light font. Also, repeat the same process of creating a parallel line mask, but make it from the right side this time. Add new footage to track five and keep it until five seconds and the eighth frame. Then at the start, change the scale to 125. After four frames, change the scale to 100, then add a blank scale keyframe after four frames. After a frame, change the scale to 85, then add a blank keyframe after 8 frames, and after a frame, change the scale to 70. Next, duplicate the title from track 3 and place it on track 6. Split the title at 4 seconds and 16th frame, and then split it again at 5 seconds. Change the word in each split, adjust the position, and add animation to the text. Finally, go to the stock media, drop the white solid color on track 4, and adjust the duration. To create a grid of videos, start by adding a new clip to the track. Next, apply a parallel line mask and adjust the position to the left. Then, duplicate it to the track above, replace the footage, and position it to the right. Add another new clip, center it in the middle space, and include two additional clips. Then copy the title and place it on the above track, change the word to travel, and adjust the size and position. You can add more text by using the advanced option, 
and also add some shadow to the title. Then, select all the clips with titles and create a compound clip. Place the compound clip at 5 seconds and the 5th frame on the top track. Change the scale to 332 and take it out of the screen towards the downside. And on scale and position keyframe, then after 16 frames, change Y position to minus 692. Then after 20 frames, reset the position and scale. If required, do the final adjustment of the clips and text. Finally, you can use different filters from the new Filters tab. The filters I used are Aged Essence, Rustic Depth, Toaster, Summer Sun, Alien Planet, Amaro, Border Desert, Sunlit Siesta. Finally, apply the adjustment layer and apply the sharpening effect. Render the project to see the final preview. If you found it helpful, give us a big thumbs up and share the video with your fellow creators and editors. If you're interested in visual effects, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you next time.